power and all that kind of thing. We think it should be more of a uh, broad uh, tax rate. So we're proposing that the corporate tax rate be cut, probably to 25%, somewhere around there. This will encourage uh, more spending at the uh, business level to help business. They'll have more cash flow. Um, other thing, we, should, we think that the uh, capital gains tax should be set at 15% permanently. Um, if it were at set permanently, investors wouldn't have to worry about that going up because it's ultimately out of their pocket and raising it to 20% is obviously not going to make them happy. So leave it at 15%. It's not, it's just overall better for the uh, economy. Um, the stimulus that we already passed, the over $800 billion, it's based on politics, not on return on investment, and really that's just not smart. It's not spending our money smart. Um, <coughs> there's lots of pork barrel spending. It's just not good for us. We're not, we're not even seeing it. They claim it's for shovel-ready projects. It's not very, uh, very small percentage of the stimulus is actually being used right at this second. Uh, the 28% limit on itemized reductions, obviously, we don't think that's a good thing, and chances are it'll be cut by Congress out of it because I think it's pretty obvious it's not a good thing. And the uh, last in, first out, yes, it'll hurt oil. Yes, it's a good thing uh, in that regard, but it's also, since it's going to hurt small business, it's not a good thing overall. So if it's just uh, relevant to publicly traded companies, it's going to be uh, better for the markets, and it'll still hurt oil. So as for government spending, uh, giving uh, tax credits to the rich or those making more than two hundred fifty thousand dollars, we're not going to see a lot of that because they already have the money that if they're going to spend it, they're going to spend it. So if we give those tax credits to the lower class only, we're more likely to see it because once they get the money, they need something obviously, so they're going to spend it. Um, another thing that uh, is in Obama's proposal. They want to allow businesses to expense investments the year they make them. And yes, this would increase their after-tax ROI and it'd free up cash flow, but history says no. In the early 2000s, uh, this approach was tried, 